Good day everyone, Dr. Polaris here. The red panda is a small arboreal and endangered carnivoran mammal native to the mountainous forests of the Himalayas and southern China. Unlike its name would suggest, this animal is not closely related to the giant panda and is not even a bear at all. In fact, for many decades, the phylogenetic position of the red panda was rather controversial. It has previously been considered a member of Procyonidae, the family that includes modern raccoons, or was thought to be a genuine close relative of the giant panda. However, the advent of phylogenetic studies have consistently placed the red panda within its own family, Iluridae, inside the broader clade Mustaloidea. The Mustaloids, in turn, are a lineage of caniform carnivorans that includes the weasels, badgers, raccoons, skunks, and others. The modern red panda of the genus Ilurus is the last of its kind, being a bamboo-eating specialist, but the fossil record demonstrates that Ilurids were once a significantly more widespread and diverse group. Indeed, during a period spanning from the late Oligocene to the Pliocene, Ilurids could be found across Eurasia, North America, and even Africa. By the Pleistocene, however, the group had declined, leaving only the living genus Ilurus. The oldest and most basal member of the family was the genus Amphictus, of late Oligocene to early Miocene Eurasia and North America. Clearly a successful genus, up to nine species have been described and named, with the animal being a less specialised feeder than the modern red panda. It would have likely been a good climber, as all Ilurids are, and would have somewhat resembled a raccoon in appearance. There were additionally two subfamilies, the first being Simocyoninae. These include the North American Actiocyon, along with the European Allopecocyon. The latter was a small member of the group, being roughly equivalent to a modern domestic cat in terms of size, and dwelt in the Miocene of France, Poland, and Slovakia. The largest and most impressive member of the subfamily was Simocyon, a cougar-sized animal of the late Miocene and Pliocene. Unlike its living relatives, Simocyon was an active carnivore. Possessing a wide range, the genus was mainly native to Eurasia, but rare finds have emerged from North America and Africa as well. First described on the base of fragmentary remains discovered in the 1920s, the placement of the genus was something of a mystery for a long time. However, studies carried out in the 90s and early 2000s demonstrated many anatomical similarities to the red panda, particularly in the structure of the ear, teeth, and ankle joint. The molars of Simocyon were large and robust, suitable for crushing bone similar to hyenas. Its postcranial skeleton indicates good climbing ability, with the genus being somewhat leopard-like in terms of lifestyle, hunting smaller prey on the ground and then carrying it up a nearby tree. Like the modern red panda, Simocyon possessed a radial sesamoid, an odd projection of the wrist bone that functioned as a false thumb. Since Simocyon was not a bamboo-eating specialist, this suggests that the sesamoid evolved as a climbing aid and later became repurposed for gripping plant matter. The other subfamily within Iluridae is the more derived Ilurinae. The genus Magarictis was an early member of this group, dwelling in the middle Miocene of Spain. It was roughly the same size as the modern red panda, but possessed a longer, more dog-like muzzle, as well as more generalised dentition. In life, Magarictis would have inhabited a niche somewhat like that of the raccoon dog or tanuki, being an omnivore with a flexible diet. A similar genus, Pristinilurus, was present in North America during the Miocene and Pliocene, with fossil remains uncovered from deposits in Tennessee. Like most other Ilurids, Pristinilurus was an animal at home in a forested ecosystem and was about twice the size of the modern red panda. Another genus, Parilurus, dwelt in Europe, North America and Japan during the Pliocene. It was 50% larger than its modern relative, although its low crowned cheek teeth suggest that it ate mostly leaves and other soft foods. Parilurus vanishes from the fossil record about 3 million years ago and may have been directly ancestral to the red panda of today. It is thought that Ilurids responded poorly to the colder climatic changes of the Pleistocene and therefore became extinct as their once forested ranges were replaced by open grassland and tundra. The genus Ilurus may then represent a specialised offshoot that was able to survive in the mountains of southern China and the Himalayas. The modern red panda comprises two subspecies, the Himalayan red panda, Ilurus fulgens fulgens, and the Chinese red panda, Ilurus fulgens styani. 
The animal is roughly the same size as a large domestic cat, with a short, rounded skull, upright ears, wide cheeks and blackish eyes. The tail is long and bushy, helping the panda to balance while climbing in addition to providing warmth while sleeping. It is a specialised eater of bamboo, with tough, semi-retractable claws that provide purchase in the trees. As mentioned earlier, the red panda possesses a radiate sesamoid bone extending from the wrist, which it uses to help grasp and hold bamboo. The giant panda also has a very similar wrist structure, which evolved independently and does not indicate a close relationship between the two animals. Ilurus's range stretches across the Himalayas from Nepal in the west to the Chinling Mountains of China in the east. Across this area, red pandas are solitary and territorial animals, which are relatively quiet, making only a few chirping vocalisations. They are shy and crepuscular, with their main predators being snow leopards and humans. Red pandas are excellent climbers and forage largely in trees. They eat mostly bamboo, and may eat small mammals, birds, eggs, flowers and berries. In captivity, they were observed to eat birds, flowers, maple and mulberry leaves. Like the giant panda, they cannot digest cellulose, so they must consume a large volume of bamboo in order to survive. Their diets consist of about two-thirds bamboo, but they also eat mushrooms, roots, acorns, lichens and grasses. Occasionally, they supplement their diets with fish and insects. They do little more than sleep and eat due to their low calorie diets. Due to their low population numbers and limited litter size, red pandas are now classified as endangered and subject to international breeding programs in zoos across the world. In the wild, they are hunted for their distinctive orange fur and their natural range has been disturbed by the spread of grasslands and agricultural farmland. The adorable appearance of these animals have gained them many admirers and are firm favourites in zoos much like the more famous giant panda, and hopefully this will ensure that red pandas do not follow the fate of the prehistoric members of its family. Thanks for watching everyone. Next episode will deal with more Triassic Pseudosuchians, in particular the Aetosaurs. See you again soon. Cheerio.